Namaste everyone, welcome back. This is a 15 minutes yoga sequence with only standing asanas. Let us begin by bringing our feet hip width apart, rolling the shoulders back and closing our eyes just to take a moment to notice our breath and center ourselves. When you're ready, bring your palms together in front of your heart. Take a moment to feel grateful for this practice, for your body, for your breath. Rub your palms together and then gently place the center of your palms on top of your eyes and then release, bow the head and start to blink your eyes to open. Namaste. Once again, welcome to this practice. Let's place our feet hip width apart and start to warm up our shoulders now. Looping the shoulders in, bring them up to the ears and then roll them back and down. Do this about four times in this direction, maybe coordinating breath and movement. Inhaling as you loop the shoulders in and up and then exhale as you roll them back. And then reverse this movement. Bring the shoulder blades in together Roll the shoulders up and then loop them in. Go slow, take your time and breathe through your movement. Good. Now keeping your feet hip width apart or bringing in a little more distance between your feet, start to swing your arms one way and then the other around the body. Just relax your shoulders completely and let your arms feel like they're spaghetti. Just let them feel really, really free. Good. And then release. We're going to now start with our first stretch, our first asan, which is the standing forward fold. Feet hip width apart. Inhale to lift the breastbone. Stand nice and tall. And on the exhalation, hinge from your hips. Let the upper body drape over your legs and keep your knees bent to start with. I'm going to show this from a different angle just so that you see this connection that I'm trying to build between the belly and the thighs. Imagine your belly resting on top of your thighs and then let the upper body drape over the legs. Every inhalation, think of your spine getting longer and then on the exhale, release the upper body a little more. If your hands don't reach the floor comfortably, feel free to place blocks under your hands and adjust the level or the height of the blocks as necessary. If your hands reach the floor, feel free to place them directly on the floor or you can even grab a hold of your ankles, keeping the elbows bent. Completely release the head and let the neck feel free. Take a few breaths here, mindfully breathing. And then when you're ready to release, lift the chest, inhale, keeping length in your spine, and then bring your hands onto your hips. And as you exhale, press the floor away from you with your feet and lift the upper body. We're going to do a standing forward fold again. This time I'm going to demonstrate a different variation. Feel free to take the variation or you can repeat what we just did. As you come into the forward fold, you can either place your hands on a block or on the floor or you can wrap your peace fingers, the index and the middle fingers around your big toes. And then again, keeping the elbows bent allow the upper body to fold forward. I'm showing it here from a different angle again. And here you can see that I'm really allowing my elbows to bend sideways and that allows the shoulders to relax a little more. Keeping the neck long, breathe here. Every inhalation, feeling the spine getting longer and every exhalation, drawing the belly button in to find space for the fold. When you're ready to release, inhale to lengthen the spine, lift the chest, hands come onto the hips and exhale to lift the upper body. Let us now move on to Trikonasan. 
step your feet apart and then turn your right foot out and left foot slightly in. Inhale as you stretch your arms out to the sides and exhale, lean towards the right side. Keep your arms wide and think of reaching in opposite directions through your fingers. Instead of leaning forward this way, think of leaning your spine back against the wall that is behind you. You may place a block under the hand, but the hand does not have to reach the floor. Instead of collapsing into your shoulder this way, think of maintaining space between the ears and the shoulders. And instead of your head dropping this way, think of keeping your neck in line with the spine. You can either look forward or you can look up towards that top hand. When you're ready to come out of the posture, look down, inhale, press into both your feet as you lift the upper body. And let us do the same now on the other side. Turn your left foot out, right foot slightly in, inhale to stretch the arms, and on the exhale, imagine somebody's pulling your left hand and then lean over to the left, drop your left arm, reach the right fingertips high. Again, remember to keep your neck in alignment with your spine and your wrists and shoulders in one line. When you're ready to come out of the posture, inhale to look down if you were looking up and exhale to lift. For the next asan, bring a little more distance between your feet, turn your right foot out, left foot slightly in, stretch your arms nice and wide, and then bend the right knee. You want to keep your knee over the ankle and tracking over the second toe. Arms are nice and wide, keep your shoulders away from the ears and look towards your right fingertips. Breathe. And on your next inhale, straighten the leg, reach your arms to the side. We're going to stay on this side and once again, bring your arms out as you inhale, bend the knee as you exhale and lean towards the right side, reaching your left arm over the ear. Again, we're not leaning forward, we're leaning sideways and we're thinking of really leaning the spine back. If it is accessible, you can place a block and place your right hand on the block, or you can even bring your hand all the way down to the ground. If it's comfortable for your neck, you may shift your gaze towards that top hand, the left hand. To come out of the posture, inhale to look down and exhale, press into your feet to lift the upper body. Let's do the same on the other side. So your feet are here about four feet distance apart, left toes out, right toes slightly in, stretch the arms out, take a big inhale and on the exhale bend the left knee. You want the knee to be right over the ankle or back but not coming forward of the ankle. Keep a soft gaze towards the left fingertips and the shoulder blades depressed or down towards the base of your spine. On your next inhale, straighten the leg, reach the arms down and again stretch your arms out, inhale, bend the knee as you exhale and reach your elbow to your thigh as you lean sideways and reach the right arm over the ear. Again, you may place your hand on a block or on the floor and really think of leaning your spine back. Press into the outside edge of the right foot, reach the right fingertips long, and when you're ready to come out, inhale to look down, exhale to release. For our next asana, Parshvottanasana, we're going to bring our feet apart, about three feet distance in between the legs, and turn the right toes out, and turn the hip bones as well as the shoulders in the same direction as the right toes are pointing in. Inhale to lift the chest and on the exhale, lean forward and down. Pull the right hip back and the left hip forward and then you can either keep the hands on your hips or bring them on top of blocks on either side of your foot. Keep your neck in alignment with the spine and every inhalation 
feel the spine getting longer and every exhale draw the belly button in and allow your chest to melt a little further down towards your leg remember to keep pulling your right hip back and the left hip forward to keep the hips square take some mindful breaths here and then when you're ready to release inhale to lift the chest exhale bring the hands on your hips if they're not already there and lift the upper body we will now practice the same on the other side turn your left toes out right toes 45 degrees in hip bones and shoulders facing the same direction as the left toes are facing in inhale to lift the chest and exhale to lean forward and down remember to keep your neck in alignment with the spine keep the spine long and with your hands guide your hips this side you're pulling the left hip back and the right hip forward every inhalation really feel the spine getting longer and every exhale draw the belly button in to lean the chest a little further down when you're ready to come out of the posture inhale to lift the chest and exhale come back to a standing position for our next asan prasarita paduttanasan you want your feet to be wide apart so step your feet out keep your toes pointing forward or slightly in inhale to lift the chest and on the exhale bend forward hinging from your hips hands can either stay on the hips or you can bring them down on the floor see if you can bring your fingertips in line with your toes you may even place blocks under your hands keep your elbows bent and release the head down each inhalation lengthening the spine a little more each exhalation allowing you to draw the crown of the head a little closer to the floor take mindful breaths here keep the neck long and whenever you're ready to release lift the chest inhale bring the hands on your hips and exhale press the ground away with your feet as you lift the upper body let's practice this asana again you may choose to do it in the same way we just did or you can join me for a different variation arms nice and wide to the sides inhale exhale hands on the hips and fold forward hinging from the hips bring your peace fingers or the index and the middle fingers to wrap around your big toes and simultaneously press the toes down and gently pull with your peace fingers elbows are wide neck is long and crown of the head is reaching towards the floor another variation is to hold on to your ankles and keep the elbows bent so pick the variation that feels right for you and take a couple of breaths here inhaling to lengthen through the spine and exhale to draw the belly button in and reach the crown of the head a little closer to the floor remember that you can always keep the knees softly bent when you're ready to release inhale to lift the chest exhale hands on the hips lift the upper body and then slowly heel to your feet closer in together and we're going to finish off with a gentle twist step your feet hip width apart arms by the sides inhale on the exhale wrap the left arm around the body bring the right hand on your left shoulder stretch the arms out as you inhale and exhale twist the other way bringing the left hand to your right shoulder do this a few times coordinating breath and movement inhaling arms out exhale twist inhaling arms out exhale twist and when you're ready completely release and bring your feet closer in together close your eyes bring your palms to touch in front of the heart and just take a few normal breaths here i thank you for joining me in this practice today 
Please do like and share this video and subscribe to the channel to stay connected. Namaste.